Hello everyone. So today uh, I'm gonna show you a short demo of uh, the Google Assistant chatbot which I have built as part of the WITX learning program. So I have bought, uh, I have built a chatbot for uh, uh, GoJump to uh, Google I.O. for the women competition. So I'm gonna share my screen now. So, so this is the uh, dialog flow uh, integration uh, in uh, which I have built uh, some intents and entities and then I have tested them on the Google Assistant. So let's uh, go through the demo. So first, Build. Okay, let's get the test version of Code Jam to IO for Women. Hello, welcome to Code Jam to IO for Women. So first of all, uh, we uh, we gonna ask about the Google Code Jam for IO a women competition. At Google, we're proud of the fact that every day women are making technology that changes the world. We believe that by creating the right environments and programs, women in tech will be better positioned to continue to drive transformational change in the industry and beyond. We are committed to bringing more women together in the online contest space and to our annual developer conference, Google I.O. And that's why, for the fifth year, we are hosting Code Jam to I.O. for women as one way to do just that. Code Jam to I.O. for Women is a single online round of algorithmic problem solving where the top 150 participants receive a ticket to Google I.O. and a $500 USD travel stipend. So now I'm going to ask about the Quick Start Guide. Visit Quick Start Guide. So we have to click the link to go through the website. To see about the quick start guide so so now I'm gonna ask the Google assistant so here uh, uh, there are some suggestions uh, given uh, which are uh, suggestion chips which uh, I have given to the uh, dialog flow so now we will move on to the FAQ part. Visit FAQ here. So by clicking on the FAQ, it will go to the link of the FAQ official website. So you can see uh, the of, uh, frequently asked the questions about the Google Gojam competition for uh, women. So now I'm gonna ask about the uh, eligibility rules or we can say terms and conditions of the competition. Welcome to Google Code Jam to IO 2018 for women. Please read carefully the Google Code Jam terms and conditions, Code Jam terms, Google's general privacy policy, and these rules for Google Code Jam to I.O. 2018 for women, described below and referred to as the rules, and all of which together are referred to as the terms, as they form a binding legal agreement between you and Google LLC with respect to the Google Code Jam to I.O. 2018 for women contest. 
So first of all, we'll get to know about the eligibility rules. You must be 18 years of age or older at the time of registration. So after that, how to register for the contest? Registration for the contest opens on Monday, January 29, 2018 at 2000 Coordinated Universal Time and ends on Saturday, February 17 at 1730 Coordinated Universal Time. So now I'm going to ask about the contest structure. The contest consists of a single round which will take place online on Saturday, February 17, 2018 at 1500 Coordinated Universal Time and run for 150 minutes, ending on Saturday, February 17, 2018 at 1730 Coordinated Universal Time. In the round, you must log in to the contest website to attempt to solve a number of problems within the time period. So now we're gonna ask about the problems. Terms and conditions. One submission requirements. For each problem, you must submit a correct output file and the source code used in its generation, or a written explanation explaining how you solved the problem. A file format and size. You may submit source code as one or more plain text or zipped plain text files. The size of each source code file may not exceed 100 kilobytes, and the total size of your source code for an output after being unzipped may not exceed one megabyte. If you use a standard library that is freely available on the Internet that is too large to include in your submission, you may exclude it as long as you put a comment in your source code explaining where the library is available, b. Programming language, editor, and compiler, the compiler or interpreter you use must be available such that anyone else can use it for free without a time limitation and without violating any rights of any person or entity. However, the following are permissible, 1. Visual Studio, Microsoft Excel, and MATLAB, 2. Compilers and interpreters that require Microsoft Windows or Mac OS X, as long as the compiler or interpreter itself is free, as described in this subsection, b, and 3. Any further exceptions that Google may communicate to you by email on the contest website. 2. Time limit. When you attempt to solve a particular input for a problem, a timer will start as soon as you begin downloading the file. You must submit your solution in accordance with this section 4 within a 4 minutes for a small input, b 8 minutes for a large input, or c some other time as specified in the problem for other inputs, but in each case no later than the end of the round of the contest. 3 small inputs. Google will judge your submissions for small inputs immediately and notify you if your submission is correct or incorrect. If the output file and source code file are not received by the end of the four-minute period or if the output you submit is judged incorrect, you may choose to attempt to solve that problem again within the time remaining in the round, but will have to download a new small input. Large inputs. You can only attempt to solve each large input once. For each large input, you can make multiple output submissions within the 8-minute period, but only your last submission will be judged. Google will notify you whether your submission was correct or incorrect after the round ends by posting the results on the contest website. 4. Submission errors and discrepancies, uh, during the round. Google may ignore certain incorrect submissions and notify you that the submission was malformed and that you may submit again in whatever time remains in the period. If you think you submitted the wrong source code for an output, you may notify the judges during the round using the Ask a Question link on the contest website. For inputs other than large inputs, the judges may mark the submission as incorrect so that you can attempt the problem again, b, after the round. You may not submit source code for any round after it ends. After the end of a round, if a discrepancy is discovered between the output file you submitted that was judged correct and the corresponding source code that you submitted, then a panel of two or more judges consisting of employees of Google may examine the source code for your submissions. 
If the judges determine, in their sole discretion, that you did not correctly solve the problem, you will forfeit all points for that input. 5. Penalty time. Your penalty time is equal to the time it took you to submit your last correct solution measured from the start of the round, plus 4 minutes for each incorrect solution you submitted for small inputs you eventually solved. Penalty times may also be specified in a problem statement. So now we're going to ask about the prizes. If you solve at least one problem correctly and rank in the top 150 scores of the contest, you are eligible to receive a free non-transferable registration to Google I.O. 2018 and a reimbursement for your travel costs to Google I.O. 2018 up to $500. Google may advance the next eligible highest ranking contestant in the event that someone in the top 150 scores cannot claim their prize. 1. Registration invitation. If you are a winner, you will be notified by email with instructions on how to register for Google I.O. 2018. Registration to Google I.O. 2018 is non-transferable. Only you can register. You must register via the Google I.O. 2018 registration website using the email address you provided at the time of registration for the contest unless otherwise instructed by Google. A Google account is required for registering. You will forfeit your registration and the full amount of the travel reimbursement if you fail to register for Google I.O. 2018 within 14 days of receiving the email inviting you to register for I.O. 2. Travel reimbursement. You must attend the Google I.O. 2018 conference to receive any travel reimbursement. You must submit to Google or its designated agent within 30 days after Google I.O. 2018 any eligible expenses you want reimbursed with detailed receipts and any documentation requested by Google, otherwise, your expenses will not be reimbursed. You are responsible for all other expenses. Proof of travel may be requested by Google or a third-party vendor designated by Google to manage the reimbursement. Reimbursement will be provided in the currency of your preference via check, direct deposit, or international wire. The total amount for which you will be reimbursed will not exceed the equivalent of $500. 3. Travel disclaimer. Except as explicitly stated otherwise in these terms, you are responsible for arranging your own travel, including obtaining your own visa and all costs associated with traveling, to and from Google I.O. 2018. You understand and agree that travel contains some inherent element of risk of accident, illness, injury, loss or death. In no event will Google, its affiliates, OR agents, be liable for any harm, damage, claim, loss or other action arising out of your travel to OR from Google I.O. 2018. So now I'm going to ask about the past contest. Past contests. So we have to click on the link to go through the past contest link. So here are all the past contests listed on the official website. So you can practice from this link. So now uh, we can click on the cancel button. So it will move out from the conversation. So that's all. I hope you liked the video.